for the sign of Aries hello and welcome to my channel let's see what's going on I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time we'll take a look at how they see you the person you're dealing with how you see them and why it's happening so Aries for the present time coming up towards the end of May Knight of Cups and it's with the Knight of Wands now the Knight of Cups it's a very optimistic card to see in a reading it comes with messages someone wants to reach out to you someone wants to communicate talk somebody's got something to say and it's usually the kind of good news that we've all been waiting to receive or wanting to to get uh, it tells you that things are going well and you're likely to be feeling charged up ready for action this card it means that good news particularly in the realm of matters of the heart is coming in it's as you can see this man is on this big fish he's not just floating but he's charging in somebody's really got something to say now it's with the knight of wands the knight of wands it's showing it's a great time for travel as you can see this other I guess it's a man you can't really see the face because he's in armor wear and uh, he has a wand in his hand and he looks like he's on a big bird some type of big bird that is an eagle but anyway he's he's on his way he's traveling and it's a great time if you can manage to get away but we all know that it's probably it's just something we can't do these days. Now, well, I guess we can. They say people are flying now. So, yeah. You should be feeling charged up, full of energy with this Knight of Wands. And ready to get things done. Your confidence is likely to be increasing. And this should help reach towards new goals. Like I said, the Knight, the Knights... You got two knights here, the one we just talked about in this one. Like I said, it's about messages. And with this knight of wands, um, the messages are likely to be positive. Could be related to work or career, but it could go either way. Romance, family. Um, you're gonna have a lot to feel a lot of reasons to feel pride. Now this knight of wands. It's paired with the Knight of Cups for your present time. So you got two knights here. Somebody really wants to talk. Really, really, really to have two of them paired together. So the Knight of Cups, the one at the top above the word present, that's a very romantic, sensitive type that's coming in. Very romantic. Yeah, that, that type likes to sweep you off your feet. Now, with this um, Knight of Wands, this is that player in and out type of energy. They come and they go. They don't stick around for long. Very charming, fearless, and brave. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. So, for right now, all, we can, all I can see is that somebody has a lot to say to you. A whole lot because you got it twice for the present time but we'll come back to these cards we'll recap this whole reading and see how these two cards play into the to this reading so for now we'll move on over and we'll take a look at how they see you the person you're dealing with sees you as the ace of wands and the nine of cups now the ace of wands is about new beginnings the very positive new beginnings in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work or career could go either way just know that if you're having a difficult time now things are likely to be getting better much they're likely to be getting much better very soon it's about being upbeat optimistic and hopeful about the future with a good cause and you're likely to be feeling quite energetic or if you're not now, you will be feeling that way soon. Because if you take a look at this wand, it's in the clouds, it's in the, it's in the sky, it's in the air. 
and it didn't it's just not sitting there but it has burst into the to the clouds like pow so if things are not going well now it's going to change or change turn around for the better really soon very fast the Ace of Wands it tells you that now is a good time to start something new also. So they see you as very passionate, very passionate about this connection. You could possibly be You could possibly be wanting this connection to undergo a new beginning or rise to new levels. But they see you having a lot of passion for them. You now, so the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a very, very uplifting card, pleasant card to receive in a reading. This Nine of Cups is known as a wish card. So it can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about, it's likely to be yours in a brief period of time. So the appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It also means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, they see you feeling really blessed and satisfied to have them. <laughs> and you're very passionate about your person, Aries. That's how they see you. So let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as this nine of wands in judgment. Now the nine of wands, it's about anxiety. As you can see this man, he has these wands surrounding him. There's a fire behind him that's coming towards him. And he's ready to battle someone, but no one's around. So it's about anxiety, being burdened, and keyed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can. And I say this because at least some of the worries, they're likely to turn out to be imaginary. And that's what he's doing. His worries are all in his head. There's nobody coming, t coming towards him. And he just caged himself in. For no reason at all and he's about to be a part of a fire and he's just got his back towards the fire so you probably need to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart ask yourself what's the true likelihood or the worry of it what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening comfort yourself and if you need help don't hesitate to ask for it because asking for help, it's the mark of a strong person, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. So, you see them as having some worries and they're stressed out. They could be closed off and guarded. Now, it's with the judgment card, which is about jumping to conclusions and decisions and judgments that are too hastily made. So, if you're prone to doing some, something like this, jumping to conclusions, it's a sign to slow down and give things more thought, give people more chances. This can be a time of spiritual awakening also. So, you see them needing to offer forgiveness, redemption, uh, maybe reconciliation. They need to reconcile with you. So, you see them needing to do this, and they're really stressed the heck out. Mm. Yeah, some people are not good at asking for forgiveness, but that's what you see they need to do. But, it looks like they're closed off and guarded. So, I don't see them doing that anytime soon, not the way this man looks with all these wands he's caged himself in. But we'll, we'll get back to these two and get a full picture of this reading. But for now, we'll go over why it's happening. We got the Hermit card. And it's paired with the World card. 
Now this hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the strength card, I don't know if you're familiar with the strength card in the tarot, but you could be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone with this card showing up in your reading. So don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So it looks like you or your person, Aries, they are thinking about um, spending some time alone to clear their mind, get rid of some baggage. Yeah, the relationship is not a priority when you get this uh, hermit card. It's all about um, relieving some some uh, baggage, spending time alone, clearing the head, clearing the mind. Now, the other reason why it's happening is because of the world card. The world card is... It's an interesting card. It's about completion. You've worked hard and you're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're really close and you probably don't even know it. You're almost in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation when you get this world card. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working really hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to do what Donald Trump does, toot your own horn, blow your own horn, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So why it's happening, something has come to completion. It's the end of the chapter end of the journey and now it looks like somebody needs to clear their head and just want to be alone so let's recap this reading so that we can get the full picture okay so we got the knight of cups somebody wants to come in not bring their cup of love and then we got the knight of wands we got somebody that's in and out player type very charming very charming, but they don't stick around. Okay, and then your person, they see you as this Ace of Wands, uh, probably wanting this connection to undergo a new beginning. And they see you as feeling blessed and satisfied to have them with the Nine of Cups. And you see them as having anxiety. They're stressed out because you see them jumping to conclusions. They need to give forgiveness or ask for forgiveness. And then somebody is wanting some time alone to clear their mind, to clear their head, get rid of some baggage. And then we got the completion card, the end of a cycle, end of a journey. Wow, this reading is all over the place. So basically, You're really feeling this person. You, Aries, you're really feeling this person. But your person is... You see, that, you see that they need to ask for forgiveness. Or they need to give more chances. Or either ask for forgiveness. It could go either way. But they're too stressed out to do this, it looks like. They're too stressed out. Um, I'm picking up your person as the Knight of Wands. They, they're in and out. They don't really stick around. They could be a player. The Knight of Wands is a player card, really charming. They come and they go. Um, they could want to talk to you. 
and you're the knight of cups because you got a lot of love for your person you you want to offer them your cup of love you want this new beginning this connection to uh, undergo a new beginning if you two have been together for a while and you you like being with this person they're your nine of cups a wish come true but your person why why are they so stressed out they're really stressed out and they they jump to conclusions with this judgment card and then they're uh, they're probably uh in and out type of person they come and they go I'm picking up that your person they they could be thinking about um, completing a cycle they're really stressed out about a cycle that that needs to close that's the end of a journey for them that's why they're so stressed out. They could be thinking about, they got a lot of in and out energy, so they could be thinking about turning in the player cards. Maybe they, they're done being with being a player. They're done with the in and out energy. Um, yeah, they're done with that. And they close in that chapter. They're done with being a player. Coming in, coming out. And they want to close that chapter because there's a world card. But they need to they need to get some uh, clarity. And so they go into hermit mode with this hermit card up there. And they want to spend some time alone because they're stressed out. They're not sure... They're not quite sure if this is what they want to do. But they, they know that they need to close that chapter with the world card here of being a player or just in and out. Okay? And this Knight of Cups, I did say that that was probably you, Aries. But I'm picking up that they, they probably want to change. They got some anxiety about changing changing their changing the way they do things so they're thinking it through as this hermit they're thinking it through and um, um, I, I said the knight of cups is you but I'm picking up it's them they're the knight of cups yeah it looks like they want to offer you a cup of love they're coming in but they're not sure quite yet if this is the right thing for right now. Okay, because they probably got to wrap up some old, some old baggage that they were dealing with. Probably some people that they need to get rid of to close out that cycle of being an in and out player. So they're stressed out about it. That's how you see them. They're stressed out about it. You probably told them, look, you got to stop this in and out if you want to be with me. You know, you got to put a ring on it or something. It looks like you told them something, you know, you gave them an ultimatum there because they're stressed the heck out. They don't even realize there's a fire behind them. Okay, so they see that they see that you um, have been making harsh judgments. Or you see them feeling that you've been doing this. Passing really harsh judgments on them. So they know they got to close out that chapter. Like I said, of being an in and out player. And they're trying to figure out the best way to do it. So they're clear in their mind. And they're trying to get rid of the excess baggage of the in and out energy and they're trying to come in and offer you their cup of love but it's a work in progress they're trying to figure out the right way to do it because there's probably other people involved but it looks like you might have let them know you might have given them an ultimatum you know we need to 
have this connection undergo a new beginning, you probably told him that this is what you want. Um, they're what you want. And it looks like they're trying to make it happen. They want to offer you that cup of love. That's that night, night of cups for the present time we talked about. Okay, but they're trying to figure out how to do it and they're stressed the heck out. So they probably know they got a lot of let, let, let a lot of things go. So, and they got to close a few chapters or maybe close a chapter with some other situation. So that's what we got for you, Aries. We got your person there working on some things. And you know this person is the one that's for you. And it looks like you probably gave them an ultimatum. So good for you. It looks like you're not standing for anything. I like that because you know what they say. If you stand for anything, if you, what do they say? If you fall for anything, you'll, if you stand for anything, you'll fall for anything. Something like that. There's a saying, you got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. So that's, that's you uh, standing up for yourself, Aries. Good for you. Aries, good for you. Aries, good for you.